Welcome to the big reveal at the Chateau de Lalande because I can finally show you all the completed Marquis Salon where I'm standing at the moment. This is a renovation that has been 17 years in the making because I bought the Chateau de Lalande in 2005. At that time, it had been in the same family for over 200 years, the family of the Marquis de Nadayac. The last Marquis who lived here died in the 1980s and he had turned the ground floor of one of the ancient towers of Lalande, a tower that dates from the early 16th century, into his private apartment. When we bought, it was exactly as he had left it. His furniture was still in this room and the walls were covered with a fabric, rather a dark green, and it was the same fabric used in the sitting room and the bedroom of the apartment. It was very old, it was covered in soot because all of the heating in the chateau was with wood. In the first few years of my time here, we were very short on funds. We managed to do the major works by adding the heating and the electrics, the plumbing, but we couldn't spend a lot on the decoration. So I made the room as nice as I could. We insulated the outside walls. We just painted it cream and furnished it as we could. But it was never really the feel that I wanted for this ancient part of the chateau. Finally, 16 years later, thanks to the success of this YouTube channel, thanks to all of you viewers and to the patrons of the Chateau Diaries, we were able to tackle this room, the Marquis' own sitting room. I wanted to choose a decoration that was in keeping with the age of this building and especially to the area that we live in because we don't live very far from Aubusson, which is one of the major manufacturing centres of French tapestries. They've been making tapestries at Aubusson for hundreds and hundreds of years, all of the local chateaus would have had tapestries on the walls. Now, I didn't want to go for real tapestries because A, to fill all of the walls would be prohibitively expensive, but also it would be rather dark and quite dusty. I love one or two tapestries on walls, but to really fill a room would be overwhelming. But I love the look of it, and I wanted to reference the way that these chateaus would have been decorated in the past. So I was delighted to find this extraordinary wallpaper by Watts of Westminster in England. It's been digitised from a suite of tapestries from Walterton Hall, and it's called Walterton Verdure. The tapestries tell the story of Venus and Adonis, and if you go around the room, you can see the first moment that Venus sees Adonis and races down to Earth to be near him, over to the moment that she is seducing him, and sadly all the way through the story until his untimely death whilst out hunting, watched over by a grief-stricken Venus. We've been filming the entire renovation of this room for British television, a show called Chateau DIY. So first we started the wallpaper and we were filmed doing that, as you can see here. in the renovation we had to stop because it was time for the panelling to go in because I absolutely wanted to introduce panelling that other great wall covering of the 16th century and I'm so lucky because I have the most extraordinary cousin who is a great carpenter and who's moved into La Lande and is working here helping to restore the chateau. For the style of the panelling, I wanted to look to another Renaissance chateau in the area that had been heavily restored during the 19th century, because this Chateau de Lalande is 16th century and was also restored in the 19th century. So it seemed fitting to find period appropriate furnishings there. I chose the Chateau de Chenonceau, let's face it, one of the most beautiful chateaus in France, which is built right across the River Cher and which was owned by the King's mistress, Diane de Poitiers. When I visited the chateau, I was struck by one of the salons, which has spectacular wood panelling edged with gold, and I thought it would be absolutely perfect at Lalande. So I took photos, I gave them to my cousin Amory, and based on photos of the panelling in Chenonceau, he started to create the most exquisite wall covering for Lalande. So what we've got is we've got this panel. Yes. This, this is sussed. Now okay. this is sorted. This piece. <laughs> So it's only small and it's rough just yeah, to get okay. my profiles set. Oh my goodness. Which is then that. Amory, it's beautiful. 26 passes to, to achieve that detailing. To, 26 passes per yeah. piece of wood. Then you've got your secondary panel. But then what you have is you have a flat piece, flat panel there, and yeah. then you have this piece here. A little raised think, piece. Yeah, which I think we've achieved the detailing. 
Yeah, like that's like, fabulous. Like for like on there. So what you'd see, then you've got your secondary panel, flat panel there, and yeah. then you have this piece here. A little raised think, piece. Yeah, which I think we've achieved the detailing. Yeah, like that's like, fabulous. Like for like on there. So what you'd see, obviously, even yes. Stevens around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah. see it like that. You'll see it like that. So it is this fabulous. Edging, that edging and gold, like you said. I have to say that as your first major carpentry project here, it's, it's not an easy one. We've thrown you in the deep end. Oh, it's good. Just like copy one of the finest chateaus in the whole of France. Just Get my teeth stuck do the same it. with Chanel. Yeah. We're all in here because Amory is gluing the first panel of the Marquis sitting room. And this is a historic moment. I do not know how your mind can oh, this is a put 40. this together. Can you roughly see that without me having to close it all up? Yes, I That's can. It's not a 45. It's not quite, yeah. I yeah. mean, it's it's pretty close to a 45 to anyone else's eye, but... but then it's, you'll, yeah, but you'll see when it goes in. Okay. I think this one, this one's a lot steeper. I think this one is a 37. Oh, yes. Yes. So they're all different angles where the, all the uh, bay windows are. This is fascinating. Ooh. So how long does it have to stay in the clamp? 30 minutes. Each and piece? Each piece. Jeez. You're going to be up quite late tonight. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment for a long time, haven't you? The gluing. Yeah. I mean, look how many pieces of wood there are waiting to be glued in here. Yeah, there's quite a few. <laughs> That's your first piece. Yes, oh. yes, thank you. No worries. has just been delivered for the Marquis Salon. It is a month late. I was beginning to think it would just never come. This is pretty exciting. We want to actually have a look at them before accepting delivery, make sure they're okay. So I'm going to be opening them up. Gosh, they're huge boxes. I feel like I'm in a, uh, a museum or something. Yeah, what's inside the box? We haven't used this company before and they had to manufacture these specially for us. Oh, look you at ready? that egg moulding. I'm ready, I'm ready, ready, I'm ready, 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 ready. Yes. Oh, oh, what do you think? That is beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, that definitely That's looks okay. right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. <gasps> the radiator comes in. I love it. Incredible, Amory. And honestly, absolutely. Ian, you too doing a great job with incredibly yeah. difficult coving. Yeah. yeah. Just yeah. sticking at it. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> off, it's a swap with Adam Aurelian. The went out. Oh, weird, huh? Weird. <laughs> this is my first sight of the panelling. And Amory, you are a genius. It's so beautiful. And all of the angles were different, weren't they? Every single angle. Every angle, yeah, every turn was different. <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, and the skirting board. Do you like it? I do, I really like it. I don't know, I'm sort of getting the impression that it will look like it belongs there. Yeah, fingers crossed, I really hope yeah. so. Yeah. It's incredible, and what I love, and what Daddy would have loved, is how solid it looks. It doesn't look like someone stuck some like little bits of wooden moulding to fake up some panelling. Yeah. Like, this is solid. Yeah, each panel comes out. Incredible. Every single panel comes out so that we can run more wiring or it just makes it future proof. That's it. For me, it's nice to know that everything is mortised and tenoned. It's all jointed. It's not just screwed and butted mm. up and whatnot. And then it just looks perfect. And I still, I know that they're glued together. I actually know the panels are glued together and I can't see it. You are impressive. There's a joint. <laughs> it's insane. So all that talk about getting me over here to do work. 
Is it paying off? It's definitely paying off. Is this music? This is the music to get yes. you going. Hello, music. This is Nelly Fish. Woohoo! Absolutely fantastic. Jerry, Philip, and I have been painting the fireplace. The fireplace is a nightmare because it's got a weird concrete top, and we just don't know what to do about it. I'm wondering what colour will be the best backdrop for Gertrude. White just looks very modern and as though it's got nothing to do with the fireplace. I didn't realise we we're in a new build. <laughs> Dark green it's like the colours of the dark green there. It's like bluish green, whatever. Yeah, it's a blue. Okay. Yes, I agree. Let's try, but I don't know if we've got any. Well this will just be another question. Yeah. A nice fresh clean start. Yes. We're using the entrance wall to lay out all of the wallpaper and make sure that everything we have matches properly before we put it up. It is such beautiful wallpaper. And I want to make sure that it looks perfect in place. I mean, let's face it, we still have a particularly horrible fireplace to deal with, but... It's made worse. <laughs> <laughs> Before it looked stone Yeah, I know. It looked actually okay before. Yeah. I looked, agree. No. Well, it looked a lot better than it does now. But it's also, <laughs> I told you that was the wrong shade of green. That We've got shade. that. I'm telling you it won't work. It has to be mottled. And what it actually has to be is a whole new top. Oh, I'll show you. Oh, here we go. Oh, actually. See? So it's better. It's better, but it's still not good as a flat colour. But it is a lot better. I think it's fine as a flat colour. I think that one would have been, ooh, it's very liquid, I don't know why. Because it's paint? Oh dear, this fireplace causes us nothing but hassle. I don't know why it's got a concrete top. But look, We've obviously I just mean, lost the original top. Yes. We need to get another one. Still, let's just try and make it look as good as possible until we can do something more epic. It's looking beautiful. Just beautiful? Bloody beautiful. I thought it would be a bit more. It's looking like a chateau, <laughs> which is the first time I've been able to say that in this room. Well, Philip is wallpapering a bit that we hadn't planned to wallpaper. But yeah, well, we don't Philip's so far here. He's always doing five different bits of wallpaper. How's it going, Philip? It's going. The top is here. There's a big box that goes all the way out to the side, and we don't think that looks good. We would like it to look more symmetrical. So Philip's decided to carry on the wallpapering around the corner to a straight line to make it symmetrical. And he's had to take the bits of wallpaper out of the bin, the bits that we weren't using, and patch them together. This is such a weirdly typical Alain site. Philip, wiring by torchlight. <laughs> it's got a sort of medieval air, hasn't say. it? Rather romantic. It's torchlight, not candlelight. And electrics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Three people wiring one switch. Two switches. I'm not counting myself. Well, one wiring and one hole in the light and the least on. Can you make sure? We'll just explain this bit. This bit comes off, but it comes off tomorrow. That's why it looks loose there. And, and the rest are just observing a good job being done. <laughs> You're the Quality latest Lalande spectator sport. All of the panelling is now in and the skirting is in. Now it's just a question of the dado. This is our first sight of the dado. Amory has been working on these. They are incredible, but I just don't know how he's been cutting out absolutely each of these dental mouldings. And you're going to show me? Yeah. A solid piece of timber in, which I call a sacrificial piece of oh. wood. And 
Oh, that, that it's very be... dramatic, the sacrificial piece. Yeah, nice tight fit. And then goes into this jig that I made. Just so the sacrificial doesn't go walking out as well. Always tie down the sacrificial. Yeah. So then with this busher on there and with this jig, it gives me that even repetitive cut. So what I do is, because I have to do it in three stages, you'd never chew out that much timber in one pass. Okay. So it would blunt the bit and it would break out the yeah. wood. Yeah, so three so stages. Three, four. So I'll do one, but I'll go all the way to the end of the jig, so then I'll get repetitive. So I'll just do Yeah, so you go there. all the way through, and then again, and then again. And then again, yeah. And then what that gives us is this yeah. comes out. Then you have the dental. And then this is the design you guys wanted, I've decided on which is a secondary piece, but then that goes into the rebate. Yes. To make it look like one solid piece. Obviously it'll be a bit, this was just a temporary. Yeah, uh, yeah. A sample piece, but that will be obviously Totally touching, touching at the touching top, there, yeah. So it looks absolutely solid. You are so clever. I, I can't believe how you can do it. And the maths involved in getting all of this right. It's funny actually, at school I hated maths. <laughs> I think I'd learned more maths since I left school. You honestly, I'm in own, awe of what you did. Working, working and figuring it out than yeah. I did at school. If they used this, that kind of application when I was at school, something that interested me, I think I would have just absorbed it and really enjoyed it. Yeah. I understood the necessity of this, so don't get me wrong. But you I needed a practical it. application. That's it, yeah. yeah. Henry, that looks so good. What a difference it makes. Well, I've been wanting to... See in place? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. suddenly gives it solidity and weight, doesn't it? And it makes the uh, dental moulding stand out. Yeah. It is a hive of industry in here. Jerry and I have just waxed the floor. Amory, what a happy man, is putting up the coving. Oh, <laughs> so we can go into the pipe, so happy, we had Philip is hoovering the sofa that's about to come out. And Grant's putting the curtain poles up. We're about to put the curtains up too. And I've got my trusty floor buffer and I'm about to buff the waxed floor. And this is it. Finally, after nearly a year of work in this room, I am ready to reveal to you all the Chateau de la Lance Salon du Marquis. looking right at the hidden door <laughs> at the moment and it's just disappeared. I mean that's what you want from a hidden door. <laughs> we should have had them all hidden. It is. Goodness. Goodness. It's, it's, amazing. it's amazing. It seems it's always been there. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. Oh that's wonderful. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. Okay, Amory is officially a genius. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is amazing. I hope you all love this room as much as we do. And I want to say a huge thank you, not only, most importantly, to my cousin Amory for being a complete genius, but also to all of you, because it's because of you, the viewers, and because of my patrons, that we're able to transform the chateau in this way. But goodness knows we've got a very long way to go.
because this is the Grand Salon at La Lande, the most important room in the entire chateau, and it is in this state because we're about to start work installing 18th century panelling that came from the East Saint Louis in Paris. My cousin is starting to install the panelling this week and I will be following all of the renovations in real time. So if you would like to follow it as we do it, then please subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified whenever there's a new video. And if you'd like more in-depth videos or behind the scene peaks of life at La Lande, we have one extra exclusive patron only video each week. If you'd like to check out our Patreon account, there'll be a link to it in the description box below. Thank you all so much for watching and for enabling us to transform the chateau in this way. I look forward to seeing you all in the Chateau Diaries on Thursday.